getting to work with him was a truly satisfying and, and rewarding experience because he's he inspired us as, as kids to be so mature and he himself is so smart and so sweet and he he really brought us together as a family and at, at first you know I was meeting him expecting Aragorn from Lord of the Rings and then and then when I met him it just he's unreal <laughs> yeah he's crazy yeah I know he has a very uplifting spirit and he's very playful with us and he kept um, the energy very light on set because we worked long hours and long days and we did so many physically demanding activities and he always just kept our energy up. Um, he was so playful and yeah, he's just such a such an incredible man for sure. Yeah, yeah sorry. Um, he's a, I think he's just one of the gentlest, sort of like kindest men. Uh, you know, you're the mate. I, I remember when we we're on set, he'd give um, each kid, each kids, he'd just come to set with a book for each kid each day. Pretty mm -hmm. much, like I uh, just sort of give it to you. You're expected to read it and sort of give a presentation on it the next day. <laughs> um, but I think I ended up with uh, not being able to take home about 20 books that he gave to me. Um, but that's just the person he is, you know. He's so giving and uh, kind, and he's just the most amazing person you meet. Mm -hmm. Yes, we actually um, before the filming began, we had two weeks of preparation and training. Um, I think a lot of that was in order to bond us as a group. Um, which we immediately got along super, super well. And we did tons of training um, beforehand, um, f like for the, the physical part of it, like the rock climbing and the archery and, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, but I think, but I think the, the part about it being so natural and organic is that we really genuinely are a family and even Vigo yeah. can vouch for that. You know, you can see us together. We all love each other so much and it's such a real family. I mean, the two little ones, we're, we're all, the, George, the older brother, we're all so incredibly close, and although we're from three different countries, I guess Vigo's from Spain, four different countries, yeah. we still manage to see each other all the time, and I think it shows on screen how natural the family really is. Yeah, There was sure. definitely a special bond between the siblings and the family in general. I think you could tell that from day one. You mm -hmm. could tell that uh, it was casted so well that we were um, just, we clicked like that. You know, we were all the, um, the little kids. The first day I arrived on set, because I came a bit late, because I um, had to wait in Australia, but um, the first time I came on set, the the little kids, six, uh, six and eight year olds, they just they came and they they ran into my arms. I'd like, and I'd never met these kids before, but they just knew that you know I was going to be their brother, and I knew that you know they they looked exactly like me. <laughs> we we all look incredibly like like family. As we just like as I said, we just clicked like that, and it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, we worked um we worked along uh, alongside each other a lot to um, sort of work that uh, our relationship out of. Uh, me being sort of the angry kid out of all of them and um, a bit rebellious but um, yeah I think me and Matt Ross the director and Vigo we all had to sort of um, work together as well as you know the rest of the family of course uh, work together to sort of get that relationship across and make it make it you know seem real which I think uh, hopefully we got that across yeah that was so much fun you know from the get-go we knew there was going to be a song in the movie um, and we were trying to figure out what song it was going to be we went back and forth from a bunch of different options um, and towards the end of the shoot because that was one of the like kind of last few days that we were filming actually we shot that scene um, and towards the middle or end of the shoot um, the one of the producers Lynette and Matt came up to me and they asked me if I wanted to sing um, and I was like so I was so incredibly excited and I was a little bit nervous but we went to the studio and I was in the studio all day because I would not sing certain notes I was like I can't do it I can't get that high I can't sing that well and Matt and Lynette were like you can do it you can do it <laughs> so I was in the studio for nine hours um, and I sang it and then the next day we actually went in and we filmed it and that beautiful right by the ocean on that little um, cliff and it was such an amazing experience and I was, I don't know, it was a moment I was really proud of myself because I never thought that was something that I was going to be able to do. So I was so lucky that they asked me to do that. It was so beautiful. I loved it. Morinikurasu,へんてこな家族。獲物を取って大自然で遊び、焚き火の明かりで本を読む。ブランクライン、ファーストブランクタイム。うん。そんな彼らに届いた悲しい知らせ。Last <笑>
there's a rotisserie chicken, so you buy it, on, it's already dead. It's child abuse. They're gonna be totally unprepared for the real world. I am a freak because of you! Leslie's last will and testament. Hajimari Tabik.